Welcome. My name is Scott Edinburgh. I'm the founder of Personal MBA Coach, a boutique MBA admissions consulting and tutoring firm. And I'm here today with GMAT Club to talk to you about top MBA programs for management consulting. A little bit of background about myself. I went to MIT for undergrad, where I studied economics and business. I then began my career at Deloitte in management consulting for a few years and went to Wharton for my MBA. Been running Personal MBA Coach since 2008. Our clients are accepted with a 96% success rate, and last year they received over $4.5 million in scholarships. A lot of our clients do go into consulting after business school, and we also have a lot of career advising and case interview prep with former consultants. So we have a lot of intel in terms of what programs are best to place students into management consulting roles. And a little bit more about what we do. We offer services from GMAT tutoring through career prep at the end. So we do, if you're looking at early MBA planning, figuring out what things you should be doing in order to prepare yourself to apply to business school through essay editing, resume reviews, interview prep, and I'm on the AGAC uh, board of directors. We also have a team of former MBA interviewers to help with the interview. So timing. For those of you who are looking at this video in early March, we have a lot that you can be doing to improve your profile between now and when you might be ready to apply. And if you're looking at this a little bit later on, of course, sort of slide this time bar over yourself a little bit. The reason for putting this down is to give you a sense for what things you might need to be doing to get prepared to apply to schools. And I'll let you read this. So why do so many MBA graduates go into consulting? You know, consulting is great for fundamental skills development. It's great to add some prestige to the resume. Maybe you're interested in travel. Salaries are quite high, and it's nice to pay off some of the student loans. Consulting allows you to have wide industry exposure, and it also tells you a lot about different company cultures, so that if you want to think through what you want to be doing in a future life, you might get some exposure. And then finally, it allows you to delay future career decisions. The other things to consider when you're thinking about schools in general, besides what's good for consulting, overall and industry rankings, fields of expertise, What's important is internship opportunities. Every school has slightly different internship opportunities, but by and large, curriculum flexibility and culture. So consulting placement by school. One thing to think about here, as you look at this chart, there's not a huge variation in the percentages of MBA classes that go into management consulting. As you can see, Duke, Fuqua, and Yale SOM lead the pack with over 30%, closer to 35% of the class, going into consulting, most schools fall somewhere in between 25 and 33% um, of the class that start in management consulting. And if you go down all the way to the bottom, a school like Stanford GSB, a lot of Stanford graduates go on and start their own companies or go into entrepreneurship. So the percentage of the class that goes into consulting is a little bit lower. One thing to note here is if you want to go into a management consulting firm, really from any of these schools, you can probably get there. It's just a factor of how well you do in the interview process, as long as schools, as long as companies are recruiting from the schools, you have a good chance of, of getting in. Now, salaries. Are there any real salary differences by school? The salary differences for consulting are, you know, small if you look across the, the schools. As you see, you know, certain schools lead the pack with Kellogg and Booth, and Wharton, etc. You know, Tuck and Michigan Ross are not that uh, far behind. So, by and large, you're looking at making anywhere between 100 and 37,000, 150,000 post MBA in the first year, and that's before uh, for bonuses. Other things to consider when you're thinking about schools and you're thinking about which schools might prepare you for consulting career services, you know, how many firms come on campus, what does the consulting club offer you, what percentage of the class comes from consulting. I deliver the percentage of class that goes into consulting, but what percent comes from consulting, and are there any other mentorship or tutoring programs that have available. This is a little bit about where our clients have gone in the last year, just as a sampling. And as mentioned, um, you know, before they received a lot of scholarship dollars. So how can Personal MBA Coach help you? Well, we can help you throughout the, in, the entire process. And if you think about you know, preparing yourself for schools that place you into management consulting, I think interview prep is very important. And so when we help you prepare for interviews, often we're thinking about case prep. Some schools like London Business School have uh, consulting cases as part of their MBA interviews 
and that also allows you to prepare yourself for the future consulting roles. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out and let us know. We also have this kickstart guide that you can download to help you prepare for your MBA. Thank you very much for joining.